Hi, and welcome to this video on in out read write confusing directions. So th this is a, a little quick video spur of the moment thing. Um, in Business Central, we have a lot of different data types and a lot of them we get, you put data into them and you take data out of them. Uh, and one of the strange thing about Business Central is that the in and getting data in and out read or write is very different depending on what data type it is. So I thought I would make a small overview. Uh, just to show you what it's all about, let me grab, um, here is my trusty Visual Studio code. And um, you see when we have like an XML document, we can do XML document, um, dot read from. So now we're reading into the document, read from. If we have something else, we have something, with the content, the HTTP content, we get other things. So I have prepared a small presentation. Oh, I put myself on top of that. Let's see, I can move myself around if I need be. So let me put myself up here. In our read write, a guide to confusing directions from Business Central. Let's let's get going. So actually, let me put myself back in this corner. There we go. So it's all about we we have some some sort of entity, and we need to either get data into it or get data out of it. Um, and the first one and one of the oldest one are streams. So if we have an in-stream, we can read data from the in-stream, so means that we're getting data out of the stream. If we have an out-stream, we can write data to the stream and thereby getting data into. In this case, it could be a, a blob or some other uh, construct where, where you need to get data either data out or data in. So data out of a stream, you read from the stream, from the in-stream data into the stream, you write to the outstream. Well, in read, out write, uh, it's confusing. Let's carry on to the next one, JSON object. So if we have a JSON object, we can get data out by writing to. So write to will get data out of the object and read from will get data into the object. So if we have a, a string with JSON and we want to parse that and put it into, uh, get a true JSON object um, value or variable, then we use the read from. Okay, let's continue. An XML document. So if we want to get XML out of an XML document, we use the write to function. But if we want to get data in to an XML document, we use the read from. Have you, do you follow along with all the combinations? Let's carry, carry on and see the next one. So this is the HTTP content. So if we want to get data into this, we now use write from. So now we're getting data into the concept through a function called write from, but if we want to get it out again, we use the read as. Confusing? Ah, let's go on. And the last one in this small list of, of different data is the big text. Big text. That's a hard one to say. And if we want to get data out of a big text, we use the write. And if we want to get data in, we use the read. Confused? Well, if you are confused, and I, I get this wrong all the time, even though I've been using some of these for, for years, um, I decided to update a small, you know, the post-it note hanging somewhere into a poster. Well, not a poster, but at least, at least, uh, uh, a thing that can be printed and, and used. So this one has all the five different examples here with uh, with directions and, and what we're working on. So on the, on my homepage, hogart.com, you can download this as a file, you can print it, you can use it on your own site, you can use it 
for whatever you want. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully with that, the in and out of different data types in Business Central is not that confusing anymore. Uh, so until next time, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube channel, put your comments below if you want me to explain more craziness like this. Uh, other than that, have a lovely day and we'll see you next time.